This is a demonstration of the neckless method of primary functional cast bracing of proximal humeral fractures. A 14 year old girl sustained a proximal humeral fracture and was brought to me in my clinic. I reduced the fracture under hematoma block which involves which involves mixing 0.3% xylocaine which means 2% xylocaine diluted with 6 times its volume of saline is injected right into the fracture hematoma to make it pain free during reduction. In 2 or 3 jabs the hematoma is reached and injected with 10 to 12 milliliters of 0.3 percent lignocaine. A piece of stock in it is cut and the same is wrapped around the arm slitting proximally then is a new trick that is being taught to you in this video. This is tied like a necklace around the neck and a arm gaiter or a humerus cast brace in a single layer of ultralight cast is going to be applied. The fracture is now reduced. It has taken hardly 30 seconds to reduce the fracture. One roll of 4 inches fiberglass cast is soaked in water and wrapped around, molded around the arm ensuring that the sharp edges do not dig into the axilla or cause her subsequent discomfort apart from a single layer of stock in it. No additional padding has been used. The patient was in agony when she first came because of a non-reduced fracture. However, instant the fracture is reduced, it becomes relatively pain-free. One roll bandage gives a brace of adequate thickness and ensures that early ergonomic and physiological movements can be begun as soon as possible. The plaster sets in about half an hour and the patient is able to move her arm with minimal discomfort immediately after bracing it. The patient is encouraged function, sent home and reviewed three weeks later. So confident am I of reduction that I have not taken a check x-ray or a post-operative x-ray. That is the patient in three weeks and you can see her lift her arm with support and the cast is inside the hand. 21st day we can see full movements and the patient is still wearing a cast and has gone back to routine activities with the cast inside her dress. Finally, we have to just cut and remove the cast by sliding it out of her body and you can see the full movements of her hand, wrist and elbow and this is the piece of cast that was used. Thank you.